Well, twice in two years, a major archaeological discovery in St. Augustine has uncovered burials of Florida's oldest colonists again. We're talking about bones that go back to the 1500s. First Coast News broke the story last year, and our Jessica Clark joins us now with more. And Jess, the archaeologist has now found even more bones. Yeah, right, Jeannie Anthony, this story just continues to grow. This is video from last year of burials dating back 400 years ago, discovered under a shop in St. Augustine and under the street right next to that store. Well, now archaeologists are back out at the same site, finding even more burials under the street. On Charlotte Street in downtown St. Augustine, the St. Augustine archaeological team is back at it. Now here we are again. Pat Molenzadegui is an archaeology volunteer. I just clean and catalog. Who worked at the site in 2017. Well, we thought we did it all last year. Last year, the city's archaeological team discovered more than 20 burials under the floor of a shop, as well as just outside the shop under the road. This is believed to be the site of the first Catholic parish church in what is now the United States. And these are the parishioners of that church. Last year when the archaeological crew dug, they worked right along the wall and they found burials. They cleared this section. But this year when the construction crew came in, they actually needed to lay a pipe a little bit further over. And that's when they found more burials. One is an actual full intact burial. City archaeologist Andrea White leads the team. We'll try to kind of go behind it, yeah. Out of respect, the state of Florida will not allow us to broadcast current images of the burials. Just so humbling and real. You know. Those burials date between 1572 to 1702. And that is when the church was in existence. And that means the people buried here may be the first colonist of St. Augustine. It is incredibly humbling. It's not something that you get to do every day. For this team, working on these old St. Augustine neighbors last year was a once in a lifetime experience. And now 135 at the end of the trench. It's an honor they never thought they'd have again. Oh yes it is. It really is. I, I want to be very respectful of the people that they were. So what happens to the bones? Well they will be removed and reburied some deeper under the street and some even at the Catholic Church in downtown St. Augustine. Very interesting stuff. Very interesting yeah. indeed. Thanks, Jess. All right.